Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another review. So today I'm going to be doing some quick swatches and just a really quick short review of some new products. Again, I know that I've been reviewing tons of stuff, but honestly I just wanted to get this out of the way because I'm ready to do tutorials again. I actually got my hands on the new Milani eyeshadows and these are it. And I have been also testing out their Prime Shield face primer. This is for mattifying and pore minimizing and this is for hydrating and pore minimizing. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump right into the review. So these are the eyeshadows again that Milani recently released and these are called their Everyday Eyes and they have actually four of them. The fourth one, I I will insert a picture somewhere here but it's actually it contains blue toned colors and I'm just not a big fan of blue eyeshadow so I just skipped on that one and I picked up all the colors that I knew I would use and that I could just see myself gravitating towards a little bit more so the first one is this one right here and this one's called 05 earthy elements and what I really like about this palette is that on the back it actually gives you some ideas on how you can use these eyeshadows so as you can see where the model is it'll tell you the numbers of the palettes and then it'll tell you how you can apply the eyeshadow so this is what it looks like and this is again earthy elements the colors are so pigmented they're really blendable they're super buttery and i really really like them the second one is another one of my favorites this one's definitely more on the bold side because it actually includes a black eyeshadow the black eyeshadow is so pigmented and so black that literally like a little bit goes a long way that's literally like one swipe and you get so much color so I really like that they added a black eyeshadow on there all of the colors in this palette I just think are absolutely gorgeous and I forgot to mention it does come with a little brush here it's like a dual ended brush I think I threw mine away because I honestly didn't like them it, it's not one of those like rubbery ones it's actually like a little blending brush it was okay if, I mean, you might, you guys might like it, but I just wasn't a big fan of the actual brush. So I didn't keep it, but again, the product, the quality, the blendability, I mean, you can see how good these eyeshadows are. Literally, you just, you need a little bit and they go such a long, long way. And then the last one, I also like it, but I prefer the other two that I just showed you guys. This one is called Bare Necessities. You know what that reminds me of every time I hear Bare Necessities? Of the movie Jungle Book. It's a simple bare necessity. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's all I know. So this one again contains neutral colors. You'll get a really nice matte brown. So you get a really nice matte brown. And again, quality, pigmentation, everything is just right there. It is so pigmented and I'm just really impressed by them so moving on to the primers again this one is the hydrating slash or plus pore minimizing primer and it's okay let me show you how it looks like when you squeeze it out you get this little um it's like a white consistency and it almost feels like a cream it doesn't i don't feel any silicone in it which most of the primers that are meant to minimize your pores have some sort of silicone in it I don't know why maybe that's just me but this one doesn't feel like that now when I tried it first of all the smell is kind of funky it almost it smells a little bit minty but I don't know how to explain it they're supposed to be oil free I don't feel like it hydrated my skin at all I don't feel like it minimized my pores so if maybe you've been eyeing this I would just say skip it and go for something else and then the second one that I got is also a new primer and this is a mattifying and pore minimizing primer Again, with these, I just didn't feel like they did what they were supposed to do. This one didn't mattify my skin and it didn't minimize my pores. I have been using these on and off 
you know, at, for about two weeks now. And I just haven't seen any difference. So I think I'd rather stick with what I have. Because these were just, they didn't do what they were supposed to do. And I believe these were $10 a piece as well. I did get lucky at my CVS. They actually had Milani products, <clears throat> excuse me, buy one get one half off. So I was able to snatch, you know, a good, pro a good deal. But either way, I just don't think these are worth even, you know, even the $5. They're just... They're not very good. So that is it. Like I said, I really wanted to make this review quick, short, and just simple to the point. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you do, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel just to stay updated with all my videos. So yeah, I believe that is everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.